21st June, International Yoga Day. What is yoga? Are this some asanas, some body postures? Actually not. Asanas are a part of the Hatha Yoga. Let's find what is yoga. Yoga means yoga, addition, unification. But what is unification here? It's like unification of the waves with the sea. But why we are advised to have this unification? We know that we are organic molecules. We are made of hydrogen and carbon. The same hydrogen and carbon this plant has. The same hydrogen sun has. If we think about the water inside our body, without water life could not take its form on this planet. There is a strong hypothesis that this water on earth came from distant comets and asteroids and meteoroids. So the water is flowing inside my body could be of some different solar system. The oxygen inside my blood, the oxygen carried out by my red blood corpuscles are because of some dying stars of this universe. So I am basically part of this universe. From astrophysics to biological aspects, we know that 98.4% of our genes are exactly similar to the chimpanzees. 90% match with cats, 80% with dogs, 50% with bananas, 40% with worms. And we have a similarity in our genes of 99.9% .9 with every other human being on this planet. So I'm just 0.1% different with you. There are lots of articles, YouTube videos in, uh, uh, I mean, about yoga, about the health benefits of uh, yoga. And uh, so many practices are uh, there. I'm not going to talk about that because I'm not the right person to talk about that. But there are some uh, videos regarding the philosophies and um, some videos are uh, delivered by uh, Dr. Satish Pathak, who is actually a cardiologist and who treats his uh, patient with yoga. And uh, he finds uh, yoga is very much effective uh, in uh, the patients who have some uh, heart uh, blockage. So uh, I'm giving the link of those videos. You may watch those. Uh, today I am going to show you a little technique because when you uh, want to have peace and uh, joy and want to feel the simplicity within you, you may do this, you may practice this. Uh, if you do this uh, like two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, twice a day, that would be best for you. Uh, there is uh, no and like uh, ifs and buts, uh, uh, there is no rules to do it. Uh, you may have food and then uh, after that you may do that. You can do at your bedtime, you can do after you uh, wake up uh, in the morning, you can do any time. And this is a very simple procedure. Actually this is mentioned in Bhagavad Gita 6th chapter. First, you need to sit in a comfortable position and then uh, make your spine straight. Uh, make yourself comfortable first. Relax your body and then slightly uplift uh, this chin and then uh, look into the tip of your nose. And whenever you feel fatty, you just close your eyes automatically your concentration uh, will be will come here this is uh, where the agya chakra resides and once you can control this agya chakra you have the control in your mind and you can do whatever uh, you want to. 
Actually, the slok in Bhagavad Gita is uh, Sampeksha Nashika Grantha, which is Saya Navalokam, and uh, we are exactly doing that. And this is uh, something which was uh, told to Arjuna after the counseling session to align his uh, mind with his work. And uh, if you do this thrice a day, you may feel ultimate joy. You may have a control in your mind. Your fear will be gone. For students, this is extremely helpful to regain their concentration in this uh, COVID time. I mean, this is a very tough time for them. Please uh, do practice this and uh, please let me know how you feel after practicing for like uh, six or seven days. After uh, uh, like one month, you will feel within you that what is the difference. Thanks for your time.